this is Vail with Vail Can Cook. So I'm coming to you with another video for my 12th day, uh, which is for the 12th day of Christmas, um, the series cook off. Something happened to my original video and I wasn't able to upload it properly. So because of that, I'm having to recreate a video um, and it's going to be a two part video because um, the particular video for my ingredients is the only thing I was able to save. And then I'm going to uh, finish it up with making the donuts themselves. And I'm so glad that I still had batter left. So um, I'm excited about it. Sorry for the wait. You know, thanks for being patient with me. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thank you for your support. Uh, thank you for going along with this journey with us on the 12 Days of Christmas series cook-off. It was a blast. And um, here we go. Okay, y'all. So what I'm about to start doing now is actually cutting out my donuts. This is my donut batter. And I flattened that out accordingly. Let me get my gloves. And I just bought me a new donut cutter. So, because the first time that I did this on the video that I was attempting to show you guys, I actually got somehow was uh, not able to be transferred over. And so that really kind of made me sad. But again, the good thing is I still have some batter left that I've kept on chill for a, about a week now. And I'm gonna start it all over again. Okay. So this is my pan that I'm going to use to transfer my actual donuts over to. This is my donut cutter. I got this off of Amazon and it's like it came with another one also. So there's two of these for, I think it was like $9. Yeah. So I'm not gonna make these terribly flat. I don't want to have skinny donuts. <laughs> so let me get my batter right around the edges. So here we go. It's a lot like cutting a biscuit, you know? Okay, and this is going to be the last one. All right, so now what I'm going to do is grab these as gently as I can because, oops, they're falling apart because my dough has gotten a little cold since it's been sitting out. So let me get a... Uh, 
spatula because I had these a lot colder earlier and it's starting to kind of separate on me. It's not going to act right. So now, y'all, I'm about to transfer this over. So you can actually see what it looks like when it's cooking in the pot. And this is my frosting. is what I have to do. Make sure that you have some hot oil, but not too hot because you don't want to burn them. y'all and I'm going to show you what the finished product looks like after I get a few of these fried up so stick on in there with me because this is a tedious little process <laughs> that's what it looks like once it's fried we're going to let it drain a little bit and then we're going to transfer it over into the frosting that I made also and I'll have that recipe in the description too. Okay, y'all, yeah, so I'm moving forward with this so far 
and it looks messy. And these are clean dishes, y'all, so don't pay no attention to that. So far, this is what I'm working with. These are the ones, the ones that are not frosted or the ones I just took out of the oil. But this is what they look like. Look good. Unless you're gonna like bake them, but that's what I'm looking at right now. That's what I'm looking at. And that's what my homemade donuts look like, y'all. Stay tuned. I'm gonna show you the finished product in just a few minutes.